Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. The brand new Chinese opera inspired geo support character Yun Jin has finally arrived. And in this quick video, we'll be taking a look at how rock solid of a support a Constellation Zero Yun Jin is. Let's take a look at how my Yunjin is built. She has the Favonius Lance equipped and is using two pieces of the Defender's Will and two pieces of the Husk of Opulent Dreams for maximum defense. By maximizing her defense, we are maximizing the amount of flat damage that her burst provides to her team's normal attacks. Her talents are at 1, 6, and 8, and she's at Constellation 0 throughout this video. With this build and these talent levels, my Yunjin's burst provides between 1489 to 1739 flat damage to normal attacks. As usual, after we've gone through a character's build, let's take a look at how much damage their skills do. Her basic attacks are pretty much useless with this support build besides helping to activate the Favonius Lance's passive. A rather rocky start, but let's just move on. Her elemental skill, Opening Flourish, has three variations. Tap, Charged a bit, and then Charged all the way, which does progressively more damage based on her defense stat. Countering an enemy attack unleashes level 2 immediately, which is good to know. The damage here isn't all that important for this maximum defense support Yunjin, but the particle generation is. The exact amount of particles she generates I'm not really sure of right now, but from my observations, it's around 2 particles for just tapping it and 3 particles for a fully charged E. And now let's take a look at her elemental burst, Cliff Breaker's Banner. This is definitely the meat and potatoes of Yunjin's kit, as it improves her teammates' normal attack damage based on Yunjin's defense. I'll go through a few examples of her supporting some various normal attack characters, first demonstrating a character that she barely buffs, and then demonstrating a character where she makes a huge difference. Let's kick this off with a character with a strong normal attack, aka a white blind Noel. The clip on the left, which just has Noel without Yunjin, we can see that Noel's N1 is hitting for 18,522 damage. And with the clip on the right, which has Yunjin's buff, Noel's N1 is doing 22,375 damage. Unfortunately, this is a rather paltry 20.8% buff to Noel's N1. However, now let's take a look at a character who Yunjin can help a ton. Here I have my main DPS, Jade Cutter Chi Chi. We can see that without Yunjin, Chi Chi's N1 did 4,590 damage the first time it hit the Cryo Regisfine. With Yunjin's burst, Chi Chi is now doing 9,510 damage, which is 207% of her damage without Yunjin. For a fast and weak normal attacking character like Chi Chi, Yunjin's burst adds a ton of damage for her. And why is this the case? Well, Yunjin's buff gets tossed into the same multiplier as the attack stat multiplier. My Noel has 5196 attack with her standard white blind build. As such, Yunjin's 1558 flat damage buff in this case will barely increase Noel's damage in this situation. So in other words, Yunjin's support appears to buff fast and low damaging normal attacks the most. Now you might hear that and think that she's good with Yomiya, but let's actually dive into that. Yomiya's E does not amplify the bonus flat damage from Yunjin's burst. I tested this with a naked Yomiya who has no artifacts equipped and the math verifies that Yomiya's E does not affect Yunjin's added damage. Now, while that's the case, this doesn't mean that Yunjin is bad with Yomiya. But unfortunately, since my Yomi is at Constellation 6, the testing here is a bit flawed, but we can still get a rough idea. My Yomi is using a Refinement 1 Rust in this example. Anyway, for the first shot fired by Yomi, she did 9,316 damage without Yunjin. And with Yunjin, she did 15,015 damage. This is a large 61% increase to Yomi's N1. As for Yomi's N5, which is her hardest hitting arrow, it went from 29,674 damage to 35,785 damage, only a 20.59% increase. As we can see, the higher the skill multiplier of an ability like Yomi's N5, the smaller the percentage gain in terms of the damage buff Yunjin provides. 
So how does Yunjin compare to another popular support, Sucrose? In order to have some metric for comparison, I'll be taking them through Abyss 12, 1, 1. Here I have the normal attack refinement 1 Rust Constellation 6 Yomiya from earlier. Sucrose is using the standard thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers as well as the 4-piece Viridescent Veneer, and I ended up doing this run 5 times and picked the best run out of the 5 runs. <laughs> And with this monopyre team, as well as Sucrose to buff Yomiya's damage, the fastest run I managed to do was 48 seconds. Now let's see how this team performs with Yunjin instead of Sucrose. Like the previous example, I also did 5 runs with this setup. It's worth noting that with my current setup, I struggled to get Yunjin's burst for the third rotation. Regardless, the fastest run out of the 5 I did with this team ended up being 50 seconds. The difference in time here is quite marginal between the two teams, with Sucrose being at 48 seconds and Yunjin's team being at 50 seconds. And thus far, it does appear that Yunjin seems to be a rock solid support for a normal attacking character like Yomiya. It's also worth noting that Yunjin's constellations will substantially assist her in this role by providing additional bonus damage as well as by providing more attack speed at Constellation 6. As of right now, it's way too early for me to say what Yunjin's ideal team comps are, but generally speaking, fast attacking normal attack characters are the best contenders for Yunjin's buff. Another nice thing about Yunjin's buff is that it affects physical damage as well, like we saw earlier with my main DPS Chi Chi. Now I hesitate to make any claims on how powerful I think Yunjin is, but as it is right now, Yunjin provides significant buffs to characters who rely on normal attacks. And in reality, my impression is that Yunjin actually buffs the weakest normal attacks in the game the most, giving them a much needed facelift. For example, if your main DPS is a normal attacking Kaya, Yunjin is going to make him feel like he just went Super Saiyan. Or if your main DPS is like my Chi Chi from above, again Yunjin is going to make them feel much more powerful. Now it's worth noting that even with all those buffs on top of, for example, a main DPS Chi Chi, you're not going to be, you know, remotely competitive to much better team compositions. But that point aside, Yunjin does not appear to be a good support for, obviously, other characters that don't rely on normal attacks, like Arataki Ito. Even though he does use normal attacks, he primarily relies on charge attacks. And also, Arataki Ito is like Noel, he will have a ton of attack, and thus even his normal attacks you'll barely notice a difference. So anyway, I'm sure you guys have been enjoying the new Enka no Mia area like I have, and if you're curious to see where all the sigils are, as well as some information on characters, go check out Not Erwin's Genshin Utils bot in your favorite Genshin Discord server, assuming that Discord server has that bot. But you can go to my Discord server at discord.gg slash iwtl, and just go to the bot channel and try the command g.resources key sigil to see a detailed map with all the keys, and try g.wiki yunjin or g.wiki shinhe to see guides on them. Let me know what you think about Yunjin's performance in this video, let me know if you plan to use her, and let me know who you plan to use her with. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.